Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Daddy Cliff here. There is a great opportunity for you to study it through the, as you can see here, Orange Knowledge Program. The Orange Knowledge Program aims to contribute to a society's sustainable and inclusive development. Its scholarships are open to mid-career professionals in specific countries. Like it says there, it is for mid-career people in specific countries. We will look at the countries that are eligible for this scholarship. This is information about the scholarship. The, inf the scholarship is funded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and it is available for short courses. There is round one and round two. Round one has a duration of two weeks to 12 months, and round two has a duration of two weeks to seven months. And then there is a master's program. It has a duration of 12 months to 24 months. You would have to decide which one you want. The shorter ones are for like capacity building, and then the master's program is for you to obtain your master's degree. For you to obtain a full-time master's degree you can go for 24 months these are the countries that are eligible for this scholarship you have from bangladesh going down to benin burkina faso right down to yemen and then for those who are from indonesia you have to make sure you read this you have to open this link and look for the details before you apply and then you should equally look at the theme the focus theme it says sexual and reproductive health and rights security and rule of law it is always important for you to know the purpose of every scholarship because if you have a document to write like a statement of purpose or letter of motivation it should always be tailored towards the purpose of the scholarship now let's look at the requirement they say a limited number of scholarship is awarded to female and male professionals who are motivated living and working in an okp country proficient in english or French working in one of the priority areas of their country can motivate using and transferring their knowledge and experience in their employment and organization after their studies agreeing to the obligations and conditions if you know you can fulfill all of the requirements that have been stated there you can go ahead and apply then you should read also the eligibility criteria you should take your time go through the eligibility criteria and make sure you fulfill all the criteria for application and then they equally have how to apply here you have every information that you need that will help you succeed in this scholarship let's continue they say you need english or french language skills to follow classes in the netherlands they would have to demand certificates showing that you have one of those skills for example you have to provide an english proficiency certificate to prove that you can either speak french or english it is also important for me to state here that if you if you use english as a medium of instruction you can get a document from your university to prove that english is the medium of instruction from your university or your country and it will be accepted so these are the priority areas per country you have to make sure that you fall within the priority areas when applying and then you equally have to get an employer statement from your superiors in your home country they say you need to get an employer statement that is signed by you and your employer it shows that your employer supports your application and that you can share the knowledge and experience you gain in the netherlands once you return to your country Country. This is required because the OK is focused on strengthening organizations by strengthening people. They say if also here, if you are a government worker, you can get also a government statement. This document satisfies that the government support your OK application. If you can get all of the documents that are requested, it will really ease your application. It will make your scholarship application to go smoothly. So it is important that you try to get all the necessary documents and then you have other requirements that you would have to fulfill it is important to state here that the institution that you are applying to they equally have their own requirements when applying make sure you also fulfill the requirements from the different institutions because this dutch ministry is basically working with universities that are in the netherlands so those universities equally have their own requirements so when applying make sure you also take into account the requirements from the universities it is also important they've stated here that you cannot apply on this website so you should follow the instructions here when applying check if your application falls within the okay focus area determined by your country check if you meet 
the OK eligibility criteria, that's how to apply. Find a course on the OK list. Please find a study using the orange filter. These are the programs that are available. 414 programs are available. You can go through, they are from different universities. For example, you have American study at the University of Groningen. You have International and European Law at the University of Amsterdam. You have to go through the whole list of programs that are available and decide on which one you want to apply. So let's say you want to apply for chain management University of Groningen. You have to click on it and then read it, read the admission requirement or application requirement. And there are different deadlines that you would have to fulfill. And then you can check if you are eligible for scholarship that apply to this course, the OK program. This is it. You can then visit the website by clicking on that and then it will take you to the university website. From here, you can proceed with application. It's a language of instruction is English. So if you click apply now, you would have the opportunity to decide on the type of scholarship where you would have to select the Orange OK program. So you are using an international diploma. You have application deadlines, first March to May for September. You have to make sure you fall within the application deadline when applying. Also read entry requirements, how to apply, how to prepare your stay when applying. It is important that you read all of those details. That's how you go about selecting the university. Here we are on how to apply. They've talked about your employer indicating if they want you to apply for the OK scholarship by signing the necessary documents. It is important for me to state here that normally this OK scholarship in Netherlands has two application deadlines. The first one was from the 8th of February to March. The deadline has already passed. That's for those who want to begin their studies between the 24th of July and 31st of January 2024. And then there is the second round submit application between 28th of June to 5th of September and then you would start your classes from the 1st of February 2024. If you are applying for this scholarship know that you will be targeting the second round. It is important for you to go ahead and read all of this information before you apply. It is important for you to always read everything about every scholarship before you apply so that you will do the right things and succeed in this scholarship. That being said let's end the video here and I will see you in the next one best luck in your application if you've not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe see you next time bye bye